I'm actually not in the Dominican Republic right now. I'm trying to change my last name and my passport, which I haven't been able to do since Mariano and I got married almost two years ago. So I thought it would be a good time to go over all of the things I love about living in the Dominican Republic again. First, there are no drastic temperature changes. It gets really, really hot, and then it's comfortable, and then it's a little bit cool. I love the weather. I love how it's consistent. I can wake up every single day and go outside and see the sun, and I absolutely love that. In Buffalo, at least. In the summer, during the day, it will be about 80 degrees, and then in the morning, it will be 65, and I am freezing. And the extreme temperature change really makes me sick. So that is something I love about the Dominican. Second, I love that I can be outside all day, every day. At school, I am outside during my breaks. My classroom is pretty much outside. If I open the doors and open all the windows, it feels like I'm outside. I can feel the wind, I can see the sun, and I just love being outside whenever I want, except when I rain. Third, I really love Dominican food. And before I moved to the Dominican Republic, I had muffins every single day for lunch because they were so cheap. I would buy four huge muffins, from Tops or from Wegmans, it was $4 and I would eat them Monday through Thursday and obviously I would get different flavors. I wouldn't eat the same exact flavor muffin every single day for lunch, but I would eat muffins all the time and I was satisfied. But now that I have been in the Dominican Republic for two years, I've been eating Dominican food nearly every single day. Rice and beans are so good and it's just the flavors, it's delicious. It's so good and I really miss that. Amanda, my cousin, did take me to a Dominican restaurant in Buffalo, and they had really good food. And my mom has been taking me to Mexican restaurants, so I have been getting my rice and beans. But I miss just good Dominican food. Number four, one of my favorite things about living in the Dominican Republic is having access to fresh fruit. Not just fruit, but fresh fruit. And it's delicious. The fruit is huge. Avocados are massive and they're so good. Pineapple is really good. I love limoncillo, although that's only once a year that that's available. The fresh fruit and the availability of it, I love that. Number five, another thing I love about living in the Dominican Republic is the juice is so good and it's fresh a lot of the time, but even if it's not, you can go to the store and walk down the aisle and it's just juice everywhere. Mango juice, pineapple juice, chinola juice, strawberry chinola juice. I think chinola is passion fruit, but I've never had passion fruit here, so it's just chinola juice in my mind. That juice is the best juice I've ever had in my entire life. There's a little cafeteria at our school and I can just go there and they just know I want chinola juice and I buy it almost every single day. So good. Number six, I do actually miss my students a little bit. They are all so amazing. When we moved to our new apartment, some of them came to help. We had the seniors this year over for pizza just to hang out. They made me laugh. And I genuinely do miss them. I'm looking forward to starting school in September. I love the summer. I love having off and relaxing. But I look forward to going back to school in September. And it's just different because the culture is different. It seems like a family. Each one of my classes seems like their own family. They help each other. I love that they help each other, which is number seven. I love that people in the Dominican, most people do put family first. That means that your friend group is your family, your actual family is your family. The people that I work with, it feels like a family. And I love that that's a priority in the Dominican Republic still, having a family. Number eight, I love that the Dominican Republic in general is just a big community of people and I love that 
It feels like a community. People help each other. I'm always amazed at how willing people are to help each other because it's inconvenient. Sometimes it's inconvenient to help somebody, but they don't complain. We can show up at someone's house and they will invite us in unannounced, just unplanned, just show up at their house and they will invite us in and they will help us with whatever we need help with. I love that people help each other without thinking about themselves. And I feel like that has taught me to be a lot less selfish of a person. Number nine, I love and miss just how simple life is in the Dominican Republic. It's not filled with all these distractions and there's just time to rest and be at peace. And I feel so much more at peace in the Dominican Republic. Also, I'm in the Dominican Republic because God told me to be there. So that's why I have peace. But just in general, it's very peaceful and relaxing. There are not distractions. There are not nearly as many distractions in the Dominican Republic as in the United States. And I like that. When the power goes out, people just go outside and hang out with each other. And they're not always distracted by their cell phone or just by the busyness of life. I feel like in the United States, being busy is a good thing. Being too busy to have a life and go places with your friends that's a good thing that's promoted and it's just the complete opposite in the Dominican Republic and I love that and number 10 I love Spanish I took Spanish in high school and college I love listening to Spanish music Christian music there's a lot of good Christian music in Spanish I love the Spanish versions better than the English versions a lot of the time and I am learning Spanish, I understand a lot, but I have not been in situations where I have to speak because at my school, I'm supposed to teach math and English. And then Mariano and I speak English at home because he wanted to learn English. And it's just easier for us to communicate in English. It'd be really hard on our relationship if we only spoke Spanish because I wouldn't be able to communicate any of my thoughts. And I love reading in Spanish. I have a bilingual Bible and I really enjoy that too. But that's why I really haven't been learning Spanish as quickly as I would like. So yeah, those are all of the things that I love about the Dominican Republic and also miss because I'm not there right now. And of course, I miss Mariano more than anything. He is obviously the number one thing that I love about the Dominican Republic. But that's it. Let me know if there's anything else that I didn't say that you love about the Dominican Republic. Until next time. I'm doing fine So is your worried mind Sit back and close your eyes Yeah, yeah This land is a paradise And the people are so very nice I'm happier than